Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this girls volleyball game of the week between the Wilson Tigers and the McKinley Tech Trainers. Appreciate you guys tuning in right here to TSDN. Your number one source, number one media source for DCIAA Sports. They have you covered all season weekly girls volleyball. Excited to see this one. <clears throat> Very competitive Tigers team who will match up against the McKinley Tech trainers who've been showing lots of potential. But against some really big time teams like Bell, School Without Walls, unable to pick up victories. But again, lots of potential. They'll, face a, they'll come over to Tinley Town, face a Tigers team who is synonymous with DCIAA Volleyball, and we'll get underway. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And here it is. Oh, an early mistake by the Tigers. Surprised to see that. They were really getting it going and See if the trainers can take advantage. And that'll be a point for the Tigers. Set to serve for the Tigers will be number 10, Leah Zerwitz. Zerwitz. Back-to-back -back aces for Zerwitz. That's the train of faith who traveled over to Tinley Town trying to get their team into it. And that will be into the net. That'll be three unanswered points. Excuse me, four unanswered points for the Tigers. They now lead four to one. After that early mistake, they gave McKinley Tech the first points of the game. And that'll be inbounds. And that'll be a point. That was number eight, Summer Campbell. <clears throat> From my vantage point, the Tigers looks like, look, look to be the best overall volleyball team, even though this is early. It's the first time I've seen them. So that'll be another point. As Zeritz doing a phenomenal job serving. But what I see into the Tigers. And that'll be another point, Tigers. Zeritz is getting whatever she wants right now. The Tigers extend their lead to five. They now lead six to one. Soft volley, straight to the net. Time is able to get it back over. And that'll be a point, McKinley. Again, as I mentioned, the Tigers seem to be not only the most skilled team that I've seen so far, but they have the most size that I've seen. And that'll be into the net. That'll be a point for the Tigers. McKinley Tech, great sizes. They were able to use their size to their advantage in their matchup against School Without Walls a week ago. But just don't have the skill to be able to, to have overcome the skill of the Penguins. Oh, nice dig. 
And nonetheless, that'll be a point for the Tigers. Good dig right there. That looks like that was Tanasia Spriggs. In the gymnasium floor for that one. It'll be Saunders set to serve. Good jump serve. And that'll be an ace for Saunders. And looks like Coach Mercedes of McKinley Tech wants to talk about it with her team. Timeout McKinley. They trail 10 to 2. After the trainer's timeout, it'll be Saunders who we just saw with an ace set to serve once again. Good jump serve. That'll be a point for the Tigers. So I got a net infraction. It'll be Saunders once again to serve. And again, unable to handle the serving. The Tigers. The Tigers lead by 10 early in this first set. Oh, that'll be an ace. Oh, that one was absolutely, absolute driller. Again, McKinley Tech just unable to get a handle on these Tiger serves. Like we have another net infraction. That point will go to the Tigers. And they would get a handle on that one again. Looks like Wilson is trying to make quick work of McKinley. Get out of here with a quick. If the second set goes. Like the first one is, we'll get out of here. We'll get out of here fairly quickly. Saunders serves once again. And that'll be out of bounds. Just far. Just far to the left. Kenley Tech get a substitution. It'll be number 11. LaShawn Johnson coming into the game for number one, Danny Lloyd. Good high serve. Tigers able to get a handle on it. And that point will go to the Tigers. It'll be number six. Julia Black. Set to serve. Good jump serve. Bad set right there by the trainers. Trainers not doing themselves any favors. We saw a good hustle right there. Way to get it over, but that'll be out of bounds. Wide left. That point will go to the trainers. I mean, excuse me, the Tigers. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna set up Campbell. Campbell with the spike. She'll get her team yet again another point. It's now 20 to three. It's been all Tigers in this set. As Black will get set to serve once again. Once again, that'll be a point. Good strong serve right there by Black. Play. And that'll 
be a point. That'll be number 12, Maureen Reeder. Good soft volley by Campbell. And that'll be another point. So the Tigers are two away from, from winning this set in dominant fashion. And that'll be, looks like that may have been inbounds. Nope. Out of bounds, that point will go to the trainers. I mean, excuse me, the Tigers. Set point. Uh, good dig. Not good enough. And there we have it. 25 to 3. Tigers dominate the first set. Winning by 22 points. Make sure you guys keep it locked right here to TSDN. For the second set of this girls volleyball game of the week. Back for the start of the second set. It was all Tigers in the first set as they dominate 25 to 3. Set to serve be Danielle Wallace. The Tigers will look to dominate the second set just as they did the first one. And we're underway. And just like that, Wallace with an ace. Good job right there by the trainers. Good net play. That's what McKinley Tech wants to be able to do. That's what they want to be able to do. Here in the second set. Because in the first set, it was pretty much all Tigers. They had absolutely no answer for the Tigers whatsoever. So a good way to start off the second set. Some good strong net play. And a uh, good dig. Again, looks like we have some a net infraction. That point will go to the Tigers. Again, as I said early in the first set, Wilson just so much more skill. So much more skilled. Most skilled team I've seen so far. So it'll be Zerwitz set to serve. That'll go into the net. That'll be a point for the trainers. We saw Zerwitz early with some really great serves to start the game off and would help the Tigers really pull away early in that first set. No dice that time. That'll be into the net. Serving. Go back to the Tigers. This time it'll be Maya Saunders who we saw with some strong serving as well. Her and Zerbers really were getting just about whatever they wanted, serve-wise. As we await the Like we're having a fraction charge to the Tigers. The officials talk it over. Officials are able to sort it out. It'll be McKinley serve. Good strong serve. Tigers able to get a handle on it and they'll get it over. Oh, good net play by the trainers. Oh, good job right there to get it over. But it'll be no dice. That point will go 
to the Tigers. It'll be Black once again serving. Good jump serve by Black. Looks like a bit of confusion right there on the McKinley Tech side. Looks like Jillian Price was calling it, but I decided against it. It caused the confusion. Nonetheless. go to the Tigers. Again, McKinley Tech with lots of potential. Great size. Looks like a very young team. Probably not the all oh, good dig. Way to get it over. I'm going to set up Campbell once again. She's done. Campbell does what she's done all game. Dice, great strong serve right there by Black. The set by the trainers, able to get it over. This, oh, uh, looks, oh, nice play call. Looks like. They were gonna looks like they were gonna set up Campbell. Again, one of those things you will see in a lot of Olympic and college volleyball. One of those decoy plays. Campbell, who we saw. With a lot of great serve. Ooh, a little confusion right there on the trainer's side. That'll be a point Tigers. Again, back to that uh back to that decoy play by the Tigers for that last for the point before. This most recent one. Saw Campbell jump as if she was gonna go for the spike as they were setting up Campbell. And you saw Wallace with a soft volley over. And as they trail 10 to three, McKinley Tech, once again, take a timeout. Timeout, trainers. After the trainers timeout, Julia Black gets set to serve for the Tigers once again. They lead this second set 10 to 3, looking to win in straighties. It's a good set. Again, that decoy play that you saw. And that'll go over the net. It'll scrape the net. Kelly Tech unable to get to it. It'll be another point for the Chiners. I mean, excuse me, for the Tigers. Good dig. The dig right there, unfortunately, not over the net. Tiana Washington getting on the floor for that one. It's great hustle right there. It's one thing I'll say about this McKinley Tech team. They have a lot of hustle. They'll set up Campbell once again. This time the train is able to get a hold of it. Good soft volley. Oh, good net play right there by the trainers. They're gonna set up Campbell once again, and that one is out of bounds. And that point will go to the trainers. And that'll get the McKinley Tech faithful who traveled up to Tinley Town from T Street. That'll get them. Get the crowd back into this one. And as I mentioned, McKinney Tech with lots of potential. Um, great size, especially at the net. Again, as we saw in the last game versus school, I was great net play. Um, but just how matching 
against the Tigers. We'll set up Campbell once again. Again, good dig. And that'll be point for the Tigers is they are unable to get it over. Again, as I mentioned, just our match when it comes to this Tiger team, a team that's going to compete for a state championship. Heavily favored to win DCI double lane, probably went out. Oh, good dig. And a good spike, good dig right there by Saunders. And Rito finish it off. Good strong spike by Reader puts her team up by 10. And that infraction, good hustle by Johnson. And unfortunately into the net she goes. That point will go. And that's another point for the Tigers. They now lead by 12. Tigers looking to get this one over early. Uh, great net play right there by the Tigers. Number 10, Zerwitz, who we saw earlier with some really great serves. That one will be out of bounds, far left. Serves will go to the trainers. It'll be number four, Tanasia Sprigg serving for the trainers. Again, great job right at the net. Unable to get it over. Oh, and that'll be an ace. Jillian Gezer on the ace. See if she can go back to back as we saw Zerwitz and Saunders do early, earlier. Looking to, I was young looking to set. Looks like she was trying to set up Johnson, unable to get to it. And that will be another ace. Was well, that one out of bounds? Nope, that point will go to the Tigers. And McKinley Tech will take another much needed timeout. Timeout comes with Wilson four points away from match set, from match point. After the trainer's timeout, the Tigers will look to close this one out. Job right there by the trainers. Way to get it over. Good net play by both teams. And that'll be into the net. Good job right there by the trainers with some strong net play. As Garcia Forrest was unable to get it over. On the spike. Good, strong serve. And that'll be a point, Tigers. It'll be Wallace once again to serve. The Tigers are now three points away. Coming in this one. Good soft serve. 
Good job by Wallace to switch it up. Keeping the trainers guessing and on their toes. Again, another soft serve. That'll be back-to-back -back aces. As the Tigers are now in match point, let's see if Wallace can close this one out with an ace. Three. Nope. Train is able to get to that one. Good underhand. Spike. And actually, that'll be a point for the trainers. Good job by the trainers to stay in this one. Though, again, heavily outmatched. They decided one thing I love in any sport, a team, though they may be heavily outmatched and scoreboard is pretty, pretty lopsided. Continuing to fight, I can respect that in any sport. Let's see if the Tigers can close this one out. Match point into the net, and that'll do it. Tigers dominate this one. 25 to seven as they defeat McKinley Tech and Straighties. Appreciate you guys keeping it locked right here to TSDN. You've been watching this volleyball game of the week.